Hey, good morning, Jessica and Blaine. Yeah, this is one of the latest examples of what the X-57 Maxwell will eventually look like. It's an airplane that runs on only electricity. It's quieter, more environmentally friendly, but still remaining affordable. So good news there. Now, right now, it's being ground tested at NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center that's over in California with further testing of the battery system in the skies set for next year. Now, this entire time, engineers and scientists here at home at NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, they've also been working on their part of the project, testing propellers in the center's wind tunnel last year, for example. Now, this is a system that really could change the way we fly, but I'm told right now only up to a certain size plane. And that's where another team at Langley and other NASA centers comes in, working on what's called the electric cool. powertrain is, is flight right, demonstrator. A it's a hybrid electric yeah. system aiming to power 737 sized regional aircraft. The researchers leading the project tell me it's exciting to be a part of this team. It can take an idea like this electric aircraft that um, nobody thought was going to happen 10 years ago and um, find a bunch of people to collaborate with. We are all working towards bringing forth maturing technologies that will enable the future for a more economically sustainable fleet of airplanes for the world to use. And I'm told just this fall, NASA began working with two companies, GE, GE Aviation and Magnix, to take this concept and apply it to actual aircraft. So that's exciting. The goal being to introduce these hybrid electric technologies to U.S. aviation fleets sometime between 2030 and 2035. Now, as for this specific plane here behind me, that's going to come even earlier. I'm told those details a little bit later here on News 3 and WGNT. For now, though, I'm Anthony Sabella.